so this tells me that the surface area of the sheet, the cortex of the brain, is, is, is very large. So obviously a, a, an animal that has a lot of uh, cognitive processes going on, whether they're perceptual or not. Um, spinal cord looks very similar to the human. Uh, the pons looks very well developed. Uh, it looks like there is a big, there is an emphasis on uh, on the cerebellum, though. So it's li it's likely that this particular species uh, delegated to the cerebellum a lot of functions that would, in the human, we, we run in the in the cerebrum, in the brain. Uh, let me see before the formalin intoxicates us completely. <laughs> The corpus callosum, yes, is very... Well, they, they do have a connection between the hemisphere, but it's very small. So, like we said before, the two hemispheres probably work much more independently. In terms of symmetry, the cerebellum looks asymmetric. Interesting, because it's, this is our hemisphere. Asymmetric. So the cerebellum, too, could have a certain division of labor between the two hemispheres. Now, this is a question in human is hardly explored at all, because we assume that it is symmetric. And uh, that's it. Unless we cut it, which I cannot do now, we cannot tell anymore.